Yeah. Congratulations, a brilliant win here today, 54 points to 12. Um, you must be buzzing. Yeah, really happy for, for the lads in there, if I'm honest with you. Um, we spoke all week about putting in a, an 80-minute performance and, and um, you know getting a better start for one and, and being a bit tighter with his defence and his transitions. And I thought how they went about the business today were excellent. You know We knew we were going to be in for a tough game versus Barrow and uh, they just pipped us last time we played them. So uh, we spoke about you know remembering that feeling and how it felt to to be on that outcome of a, of a tight game and now we didn't want to feel like that again so uh, really happy with how everyone's gone about the business today. It certainly worked as I say such a huge scoreline for the team it's yeah. it's incredible to see um, and some real standout performances. Yeah yeah there was but I mean I think the most pleasing thing for, for myself and, and the coaching staff was just the the whole team performance obviously there were some standout individuals in there but um, I thought everyone nailed the role today, you know, because, you know, without getting too technical about it, other people can't do their role unless that stuff that probably isn't as easy on the eye gets done. And I thought, I thought everyone just went about the business in a real methodical manner today. Um, it's fair to say that we've not been starting games how we want, you know, giving two teams 12 point starts before we, uh, we feel we kick into gear. So uh, it was good to be on the front foot. Uh, for a change um, at the start and we've just got to make sure that we enjoyed tonight you know it's really important you celebrate a win and then we'll um, come Tuesday we'll be back down to earth ready to um, back it all up against Doncaster all being well. And as you said there great team performance um, but to highlight some individuals uh, James Cunningham he's made yeah. his first game back to back today and we've learned it's his first one since last July um, yes. how do you think he got on considering he's had such a, a long time off due to injury yeah well we've had a bit of illness in camp this week um, and, and Kuno's been at there or thereabouts for the last couple of weeks and um, you know he put his hand up to play uh, when a couple dropped out and um, you know I thought he were excellent I thought he went about his first stint really well obviously the, he needs to work on his engine which you're going to do after that long out uh, he were begging me to come off that last stint and then we took Tomo off because uh, he did played I think 70 minutes straight and we we're just watching Kuno crawl around on all fours for a bit but he um, you know he'll be better for that there's only one way you get your match fitness back up and that's by playing so uh, really good to have a player of his calibre back in um, back in the ranks and back playing rugby. And you mentioned that the team illness is there. Yeah. Um, did that affect uh, Jimmy Carnos and Brendan Santi? Is that why they went on the, yeah. the team today? It affected Brendan. Uh, he's been he's been poorly all week, um, you know. But I don't want to use that as an excuse either way. I thought I thought you know we got a tough bunch in there, and everyone just rolled the sleeves up and got on with it. Uh, Jimmy, were at Rob's funeral. Um, you know, some things are bigger than rugby league, and. I don't think I'd be able to look at myself in the mirror uh, if I didn't give him that time off to go there. So as I said, um, you know, you can't really not give players um, time off for things like that. As I say, they're a lot bigger and more important than rugby league. So uh, Jimmy will be back in contention next week, and so will Brendan all being well as long as he, um, you know, recovers well. And no injuries to report from the game today. Uh, not that I know of just yet. I'll get a detailed injury assessment uh, tonight. Uh, we'll then reassess Tuesday, um, but you know we'll just keep on building, and, and you know that that's what it's all about now. The teams that are going to be in the playoffs are the ones that will be the most consistent over these next coming months, and we've just got to make sure that we stay level-headed. We don't get too um, carried away either way, too high, too low. We just keep real methodical in this business and just taking it one week at a time. And um, really happy with today. I thought I thought. Uh, really pleasing for the for the lads to get that win, but it's really important too that um, you know we we go back about doing exactly what we did last week to get that performance come Tuesday. And is that the main thing for you? Because obviously a performance like today, you know, yeah. you kind of get caught up in the glory, don't yeah. you? It can be hard to sort of pinpoint the areas that you need to improve for the the following match. Yeah, yeah, it can be, and and that's part of being a professional too. You know, you've. You, You've got, there's only one way you learn them experiences and that's by getting burned by it. So I think we've got a real good bunch in there. And as I say, I hope they go and enjoy themselves with the friends and family tonight. Um, recover well tomorrow, then come Tuesday when we're back in training. Um, we'll review that game, look at what we did well, where we can improve and then focus shifts over to uh, to Doncaster. And that's the that's the roller coaster of a season in rugby league, isn't it? And um, you know that's where that mental discipline comes in of being able to enjoy yourself, then reset it enjoy the grind again to, to put the work in and then be out, go out there and perform again. 
and Doncaster, yeah. you know, they're a pretty big side and yeah. um, we have a few ex-Knights in the mix as well, which always makes for an interesting game on the field between the boys and um, for the likes of Pauly Pauly as well. Yeah. Um, how do you guys plan on, on tackling that really? Yeah, they've got some excellent players in the ranks, you know, uh, Reese Lynn, obviously our coach last year, he's just dropped down into championship, I know exactly what he's capable of. Um, I could go through all the team and, and talk about where there's, there's a threat. So our job as coaches is to make sure we have a look at their strengths, their weaknesses, just as they'll be doing with us. Um, you know, and then build on where we feel we're strong. You know, where we feel we can fix up. And um, you know, that's the art of coaching, isn't it? Is getting the balance right between the two and not worrying too much about them and letting them worry about you. And then making sure that you are aware of what threats they've got and. Uh, you know, worrying about what you need to. So it's a very fine, fine line, shall we say, in getting that balance right. So we'll focus on what we need to improve and, and build on what we've done well. And lastly, it was our members' day today. Um, this season, in particular, we've had a record um, number of members and season ticket holders um, sign up, and I'm sure you could hear them today yeah. with all their songs. Um, do you have any comments for the members? No, I just um, thought, thank you for your support. I thought it was fantastic. Um, it was really pleasing to see him get behind the lads and you know our job is to make sure we give them something to sing about so we'll be focusing on doing that every week and um, you know hopefully long may it continue they're a very uh, vocal bunch as they already knew and they, I, I love that sort of atmosphere you know when the ground's bouncing and drums are beating I think it's great I think that's that's what creates the experience and the atmosphere so um, you know hopefully we'll, we'll keep on giving them something to sing about every week. Amazing Mark thank you so much thank for speaking you. to us thank you. Cheers.